Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? <clears throat> this is going to be a weird environment that you see me in when I turn the camera on, so don't be alarmed by anything. Uh, Alright, one second. Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Alright, you're probably wondering where, what the fuck this is, or where I am, or what's going on, or what, why this is like a weird fucking look. Uh, okay. As you know, the city of LA has said that I need a filming permit to live stream in the city of LA. So, I am uh, in Orange County at a hotel somewhere, uh, hiding the background and everything because I don't want to get kicked out of this hotel. So, this fucking sucks. Like, <laughs> I'm at some like random ass shit. A filming permit is going to cost me in, to in total with all the fucking everything that I need about $3,200 for I need to get insurance uh, for well, like I don't know like some kind of insurance that says that I'm filming and that's $1,200 and then two months of uh, a film permit is going to be I believe $2,000 it's six hundred and forty-eight dollars, I think, for two weeks. So, yeah, that's where I am right now, and that's uh, that's terrible because I. And then when I pay that, I have to wait for them to actually accept it, and then they could just deny it. So that's fucking terrible. Um, yeah. So there's that. Um, some of you guys are, are you in a damn insane asylum, lol? No, I'm at some fucking random ass hotel. Um, some. Uh, you guys are probably wondering what's going on with that, with the court thing. So yesterday I went to court for sneaking into VidCon in a llama. Um, so some of you guys probably saw online the uh, two year pro the two year probation, the eighty hours community service, and then the restitution and state of assets. Uh, rest I don't even know, I don't know what restitution means. State of assets. They just want to know what I fucking have in my bank and stuff because so I could pay the seven hundred dollar fine. It says fifty dollar fine, but I had to pay booking fees and other fucking bullshit. So they wanted to see if I had the money just to make sure I could pay the stuff. I already paid all the fines yesterday and I didn't have to do the state of assets because I just paid all the fucking fines. Um, the restitution, yeah, they, uh, that I have to probably pay VidCon their fucking ticket or something. So that's another hundred dollars, but, uh, that's not even important shit whatsoever. The important stuff is the community service and the probation. And I do this because it's informal probation. So it's not really probation. How we, like what it's not actual probation it's uh basically what it is we took a plea deal where uh they drop the petty theft because it's fucking we're not i, I didn't like fuck that i don't want that on my fucking record for stealing a ticket um yeah so they dropped the petty theft and they kept the trespassing and if i do the two years of informal probation then they expunge the trespassing thing off my record so that's pretty much what it is um you know, I took the, the the informal probation, so if I'm not arrested in the next two years, then everything gets wiped off my record, and we're good. Um, now, what informal probation is, is I, I don't have a PO officer, I don't have to go uh, talk to anybody, I don't have to do fucking drug tests, or I don't have to do anything. Um, basically, it just says, don't get arrested for the next two years, and I've never been arrested before, so that's easy. Um... Like, I don't break the fucking law, so, you know, I just don't have to do, like, I just don't do, like, uh, you know, what, what's it called? I just don't have to do, uh, like, don't do abandoned building streams and shit like that. Um, but yeah, besides that, I've never been arrested, so that's pretty easy. Um, I mean, viewers might try to get me arrested, but I don't, I don't know, dude, I'm just not gonna break the law, that's fine. Like, I don't break the fucking law, so, that's fine. Um... And then the 80 hours of community service. I have two years to do the 80 hours, so I'll just do like two hours a fucking week for the next two years or something. I don't know. I'll fig I'll I'll find that. I'll figure it out. That's not hard. Yeah, knock on wood. I mean, I don't break the law, so that's that's easy. Um, not enough where I would get arrested for stuff. Um, obviously, if I get arrested, then the trespassing doesn't get off my record, and then they're probably the cops probably will give me less of a break. Um, but that's fine. What was I gonna say? I don't really know what I was gonna say. After that, um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. Guys, I'm going to say this. My life right now is a fucking mess, and this sucks. I can't fucking stream in LA. I'm trying to move out right now, and I'm having troubles with that because, well, not, not really troubles with that, but it's just like, 
it, I just, it just takes time to move and like yeah i don't know if i'm gonna do this one month traveling stream in a, in the military truck to be honest with you like i really don't think i'm gonna do that i'll probably just move because i'm not really in a position where i can uh where i want to be in a fucking truck traveling for a month like i just want to get my life organized because right now nothing's organized i'm in a fucking house that we have to leave i am in a place where i need filming permits to stream so i have to leave the city to stream i have to worry about doing 80 hours of community service i have to still file my taxes for 2018 how you gonna move to Anothra State with community service? I have to file, uh, or not file, I have to get a lawyer for the FBI thing so I can get my stuff back. I don't have, I need to get my computers back, my phone back. I don't have anything, I don't have anything, like my phones or any of the information. So I have to get a lawyer, a lawyer to get that shit back from the FBI uh, so it doesn't take four months. Um, I can leave to another state. I can still travel. Like, it's not real probation, and I can do the community service anywhere in the country, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so this sucks, um, you know, and the worst part about it is I think for the most part, I brought myself, I brought this shit all upon myself for just trying to uh, get content. Like, it sucks. I did the llama thing for content. I tried to do the streamer house for content, which ended up giving me a million more problems. I ended up really just putting myself in a really bad, sticky situation for the sake of content and for the sake of just trying to be as wacky and crazy as possible. And I'm in a really bad spot right now. Streaming is really fucking hard and moving is really fucking hard. And I have to file my taxes and pay for a lawyer to get my stuff back. So moving, so I have to get, I have to get moving costs. Like moving costs a lot of money if I'm going to move somewhere to another state. And that's just not money. I probably can, afford to spend right now since I have to get a lawyer and file my taxes so yeah I'm in a really bad spot and this sucks I have to figure out what I'm gonna do like I don't even know how I'm gonna stream until I move besides just doing desktop streams and playing games or something and this is not like this is a $400 computer so this is I need to get like an actual gaming computer if I'm gonna do that but yeah this sucks I'm in a really bad spot right now and this fucking sucks I don't know what to do um because yeah I mean I could just stream and make money and stuff so I can move but I can't Kick even, SJC off network but, threatening to dox donators. But I can't even like, uh, I can't even stream really, except just in this position that I'm in. Uh, yeah, the network, I'm just taking everybody off. It's fine. So yeah, I don't know. It sucks. I really made it. I've regretted. Don't worry, I take as much time as you need. Please don't cry. Just kidding, I take another L. You're Thank still you. in LA just acting like you're in Orange County. The LA filming authority is on your ass. Thank you, dude. Um, yeah, I know. I've made, a mo I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I am totally regretting it. We love you, Ice. Thank you, bro. You're a great bro. Heart. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I'm just regretting a lot of decisions that I've made. Do the trip, damn it. The trip will get you money. I, I wish I never did the streamer house. And I wouldn't, and I would at least be able to stream in LA right now, so. Get the fuck out of here, leeches. Four views, all you do is talk nice to ice when Hess DOIG. Good leeches, four views, never trust people with weird accents. SJC is innocent, BTW. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know anything about What SJC happened to right being now. a CEO in the investment? What are your thoughts on the Reddit currently? It seems dead. Do you regret burning bridges with most people on the network? Don't regret burning. I don't think I've burned any bridges with anybody in the network. They've did all, you see they, Sam in court about VidCon? If you thing, did, how awkward was that? Hope you get this all figured burned, out, man. The only thing they've burned bridges with me, if like Uber, but everyone else has been fine. Uh, I saw Sam. It wasn't awkward. It was cool. We talked a little bit. We got lunch, and that was it. Um, he got the same stuff as I did, I think. Stupid effing mistakes, man. Should have listened to your community. Figure it out, little bruises. Yeah. Um, I should have. What happened to being a CEO on the investment? Uh, the investors got doxxed. Do the they... RM thing hold me one last time. For old time's sake. Yeah, the investors got doxxed and they pulled out. Um, and obviously, you know, we're just going to give the house back to the landlord and uh, get away from this house in LA because there's no point of being here anymore. Um, I'm going to move and, yeah, there's Brent and S SSJ is not coming with me. People are... Wondering and questioning if that was going to be a thing. No, it's not. He's not coming with me. There's nothing more that our relationship, there's nothing more his relationship can offer me at this point. And I just want to get away from all of this and just start over with 
new people, um, new streaming environment, just new everything. I just can't fucking deal with this right now. Uh, the Reddit, I just need to do Reddit recaps and give it some, some Love content. Love you guys, things will get better. I need to give Reddit content. There's no content, so the Reddit doesn't have anything right now. Um, yeah, no, it sucks. Like, I'm in a really bad spot Not right now. Not much but something. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. So what, what I'm going to probably do is spend the, the $3,200 on the film permits in L.A., Hey, yo, Josh, it is time to mute bail for 24 hours. I, I uh, already signed up for the insurance, so I need to just get the permits. Probably the next couple of days, hopefully week at most, I get the permits. And then I'll just do... You need to make peace with IP, I, I need to just make... Uh, I don't know. I just need to do content here in LA for until I move. That's going to just... I don't know, dude. I'm just going to try to figure out stuff that's going to try and last really long uh so it can make good amounts of money so i could fucking move because right now i'm actually sort of in debt to a lawyer so i need to just pay that shit and then be able to move so um i'm probably gonna try and do some like like i'm i don't know ssj owes me money so he just gave me his fucking hummer i'm probably just gonna try and give that away and try to make some money off that so i can fucking pay the lawyer and move um, it's very good that you're in the spot. Stop lying to the viewers and learn to sometimes take blame on yourself. Paul Danino, I hope they remember you. Ice Poseidon 2 and Thanos wins. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it very much. Um, yeah, besides that, like, I don't know what to do about any of this, guys. Like, there's, I'm going to be real with you because that's really the only thing I can do right now. Um, do a Reddit recap of IP2 and we will take you back. You know, I'd rather have 2,000 viewers than 10,000 viewers if uh, like I, if if you know I have to do that to be honest um, like I'd rather be able to go live and not have to worry about getting doxxed and all this other bullshit so um, are you firing SSJ or is he just not coming with you we've mutually agreed that there's nothing more we can offer each other so we uh are just not going to work together anymore. And I'm moving away from... What happened to Nate the Dwarf? He went home, basically. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know what I was going to say anymore. I forgot. Yeah, no, I'm going to be real you. Until I move out of LA, I don't know what sort of streams or content I'm going to be able to provide. <laughs> That's not just, you know, stuff that the tribe... You realize all of your community is now IP2. We had nowhere to go and you just left us. We are all still here. Just ex Well, my Reddit's open, so I could start with that. Um, because there's a lot of people on that moderation team that really actually just hate me. And I don't want to associate with those people as, you know, in that moderation team, obviously. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, there's not going to be content for until i until i move i don't know how else to explain this that's just the expectation um i'm gonna probably just do desktop streams and whatever else i just need to save money and i just need to do streams i try to get as much money as i can so i can pay that fucking lawyer that guy why don't you auction your stuff bro the the lawyer want i have to pay him 700 dollars an hour on like a twenty five thousand dollar retainer so i obviously I'm in a really bad spot because that's expensive. And then my taxes that I have to file money, a lot of money are going to go to taxes and then I have to move. And that's just, that's hard. Can I do you insurance? I'm an insurance broker here in California. I can find the best rates. Tell me how to get in contact with you. It would be awesome if I can say I do Paul Danino's insurance. Um, we already got the insurance. You don't have to worry about that, dude. But thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I'm just going to put in sponsor only mode because I don't want to fucking... I just, I just have to, I just want people who are going to like not give me shit right now. I'm sorry. I'm just not in a good spot in my life right now. What about Japan? And this sucks. I'm going to Japan still on the 8th and that's great. But, uh, you know, when we get back from Japan, what the fuck do I do? Let's say the city of LA denies me on the film permits. What the fuck do I do? You know what I mean? Like I can just move right now, but I can't really afford to do that i can't really afford to do that because i have to pay the lawyer and my taxes 
and I obviously have to pay the lawyer my taxes, otherwise I'm fucked, and that's more important than moving, so I can't just spend money to move, so. This just sucks. I have. Made a lot of fucked up, I've made a lot of bad decisions in my life, so. Just give me one second. Bro, I can tell the weight of the world on. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of weight right now, so. Um. Yeah, no, you have I... to stop thinking about fucking content and just live your life. It will not matter what you stream. Doesn't matter where you live. Yeah, but here's Come the thing. To Ohio, I'll take y'all out muddy. I... You can take your military truck muddy. I Tons can't. Tons of content. Love you, bro. Keep up the good work. Yeah, the military truck's a lot of money and gas, though. <laughs> You're fucking crying. I love this now. <laughs> Thank you. The military truck is a lot of gas money. It was not a good investment. I don't know. We 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 got that when we had investors. All the two ones is to see your death gone valid. And now we don't. The moderator list. Tell them now. Also, keep your head up and your chest out. Thank Things you. will get better. I'd, also, move to San Francisco and live peacefully. I'd rather not spend the gas on the military truck. To be fucking Paul, honest with you. Real talk. You are headed down the road. DSP and Wings of Redemption went down. Had a huge fan base. Couldn't handle criticism and started censoring their communities. Now they have no community. Wings of Redemption Sorry is a complete idiot, though. Sorry, you're stressing, buddy. It will all work out. Wings of Redemption is just... Wings of Redemption is a, a, a... He's fucked. It's just... I, I like to think a little bit different. CX in the chat. Um, I just think it's a little bit different. But, yeah. I mean, it just sucks. And, you know, what sucks the most? I've had a lot of people that I've helped in my life in the past two years. And... Uh, they're all doing fine right now, it seems. But in the end, I'm left in a really bad spot. You know? And I'm not even talking about people like Uber or anything. Like, Uber will never be in a good spot because he's an idiot. But, I don't know. It just sucks, dude. I've just, uh, I just feel very alone in this world. And, uh, I've, I've made a lot of fucked up decisions. And, you know, I should have just a listen to what a lot of people were telling me whether on reddit or whatever but uh you know it's really hard to see what's right and what's wrong when there's a million other people in your fucking ear at the same time and everyone around me is probably a yes man like i don't want to say that they are because i'm living with a bunch of people and there's a bunch of people around me right now and if i offend them then who else do i have so i'm kind of forced to not tell you what I really think, but I'm surrounded by a lot of yes, man, and I don't like, like, it just sucks, because, like, I obviously have been, I've conditioned myself to live a certain way, and it's very hard to accept when I'm wrong sometimes, and I don't want to, I don't want to be like that, it just, that's just how I've conditioned myself, because it's been like that for the past two years, and it's really hard. And I'm just a very confused person right now. I think that's where my mindset is. Richest man in LABTW. Um, thank you, McGuire. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, Big Sexy and Dreams. And uh, thank you, dude. Temporary Your community is not all of two. Fuck them. Is the film permit just for LA or do you need it for all of California? It's just just for, move out of law. It's just for LA, but here's the thing. Every two weeks, I have to. Every two weeks, if I, I have to renew the film permits, and it's six hundred sixty-eight dollars for each permit every two weeks. Like, obviously, I'm not doing that. So. Feels bad, man. People care way too much about seeing you fail. It sucks to see everything you've built over the years be torn apart. I hope you can make a comeback this year. You know, it's it's not that hard to. Just move on from a lot of bullshit. I guess, but I have to get to the position to leverage myself out of a hole. And right now, I don't know how I'm going to get to a position where I can leverage myself out of a hole because I have so many things that I have to pay for. And I, I don't know. And I'm just sur surrounded by people who make me confused. Love you, bro. You were trying to do what's best for content. 
You care about the community then you care about yourself bro. Love yourself homie. Wait if you don't have any money how are you going to order weed? Get rich or cry trying homie. Don't turn into you bro who says live streaming is too hard. CX in the chat. I mean, it is kind of hard right now, but it's gonna be, look where I am. I'm in some fucking random shit, like having to stream, you know what I mean? How do I make content in this environment that I'm in right now? Like, I, you know. Come back to South Florida. Back I can, to your I can, I can do desktop streams, I guess, but, and like play games and shit, but it's just like, that's not what people are looking for when they come to the stream. A lot of people will say, you know, we just want to see you, but damn, like, what do I, what do I do? Like, what do I do? Like, I can't just sit here every day for the next month and fucking bait donations to get money to fucking move out and pay for my fucking lawyer. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not what people are here for. And, you know, if you're here for me, that's fine. We can just like chill and play games, but that's not what most people are here for. And I have to accommodate for that because that's just part of my business. And damn, I just don't, I can't do that right now. Like obviously and uh, and i'm kind of scared to do anything irl at the moment because i know some viewers are going to try and call the police on me if i do something slightly wrong and you know they're going to try and get me arrested or something so paul cheer up i mean i, I try to look i'm trying to be optimistic i really am it's just really hard right now and I don't want to sit here and this be a the pity. Discord feels your pain, bro. Keep your head up. Hey, yo, Josh, don't forget to mute bail for 24 hours. I found my taser. It was on the shelf. If that means anything, it was on a fucking shelf, so. If you sell the military truck, where does the money go to? Does it go to you or the investors? If it goes to you to sell the military truck, it's too much of a hassle. It's not my military truck. It's Scuff Steve Jobs, so I don't get shit from it, so. The community warned you about many things and never listened. Welcome joining the ranks of Wings of Redemption and DSP. Thank, thank you, dude. I'm not Wings of Redemption. I would quit streaming, then be Rings of, then Wings of Redemption. Like, that's 100%. Uh, I would never... Unfortunately, I grew up in a way where I pride myself. And pride is a very negative emotion, and it's not a good thing to have. But unfortunately, I do have a lot of pride, and I would never be Wings of Redemption. I would just go back, live with my parents... Uh, save any money, you know, save the money that I have and just get finish my fucking bachelor degree. I would not be Wings of Redemption, who goes live and begs for viewers. We and will stuff. leave IP2 if you step down as mod of IP1. You should not have come. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I uh, am not stepping down as mod in my own subreddit. Thank you. I'd like to uh, be able to have an overseer of what's going on in the community because. A lot of people are malicious, and I definitely have to stop the maliciousness. This is temporary. Don't overthink setbacks. Thank you, Daily Funny. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, daily setbacks, but I'm just, it, it just sucks. That these, this is a really hard setback, dude. Hey, Ice, start a GoFundMe or something. I am sure the community would support you. I definitely would. Take care and stay strong. Lord Burn in Scotland. I have to, I, hey Paul, can you unban me, Plaza? I can participate. I don't, too. I don't need to do a GoFundMe. I can just stream and just, you know, save money. But that's fine. It's just motherfucker. Like, damn, this is just annoying. I don't, I, I don't know how to talk without making this a pity fest. Like, I just feel like shit right now. And this is not trying to be me looking for pity. Like, this sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm I love sorry. You Paul, such a good soul. Stop listening to these people. Don't give them ammunition. Real fans are here. Fuck it too. And I hope the karma will get back to them. Well, that's, strong Paul, please. Fuck. That's why I walked off camera when I was about to break Damn. myself a little Gold bit. Gold memes. I feel for you, bud. Here's a fiver. Thank you. Thank you. Feels bad for the twenty, dude. I appreciate that. And somebody gave me a fifty, but I don't know where it went because it just scrolled all the way the fuck you down. You should have stopped playing RuneScape Thank and you, stopped Don. wasting your time. There's so the many 50, years dude. to become Alphys Forty Four. So look ahead, to take care of your problems today, one by one. Also, thug IP two. Um. If two still wants to see you change and do better, we've been giving advice for months. Listen, take damn criticism and make the change, Paul. Well, I mean, CX in the chat. I'm definitely forced into a position to take criticism i've just like i said i've been surrounded by people who haven't really had my best interests and it's kind of conditioned me in a really negative way which sucks and you know i saw that before i'm not stupid i just 
didn't think it would be an issue, but this is when the issue arises because when I have people around me who aren't there for my best interests or there for me as a person, when I'm in a really hard spot like I am right now, there's not many people who actually want to help me besides the viewers themselves. And that just feels fucking bad. It just does. Like there's like Luchador, Nigel, these guys are nice guys and they help me with anything they can. But I'm talking about people that I've personally helped in the past. Like, I don't think any of those people care to help me. <laughs> and uh, I don't really ask for help because, damn, I, like I said, I have a lot of pride. And I know it's a negative feeling, but I just feel bad asking for shit from people. You should go live with your girl. She is her friend and she can comfort you. She is a real friend. I mean, my girlfriend does live with me, and that's it makes it even harder because well, I feel there. responsible for I that. I remember you went on that podcast and said you had grown a lot as a person. Well, this is when you grow, when you go through rough times. BTW have Tinder Alice sell some Gucci bags. You know, I've I've never been in a in a tough position before in my life. This is definitely one of the first times. If we're talking about streaming life, uh, before I was a streamer, is a million things, but as a streamer, it's the first time I've been in a tough position, and it sucks. That, it doesn't suck my girlfriend lives with me. It just sucks that I promised her that if she moved in with me, I would take care of her. And, you know, I'm having a hard time taking care of myself right now. So now I'm dragging her through this with me. And that's not what I wanted to do. So I just feel bad for her, too. And that sucks. Uh, $100 from Frank. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. I appreciate the fucking $100, homie, very much. Thank you, Doom and 666. I appreciate it very much. Um... I think I already know where I'm going to move to. Um, I just have to decide. Like, I don't think I'm, I want to do the month long RV trip. I just don't think that's a good idea right now. I need to get my life organized because at the moment it's just, it's all over the place. Ice. I've been there. You have no idea how much I understand you. I have been trying to connect for a while to support in more ways. Never been approved to Reddit. I'll send you an DM. I can help. You gotta quit stressing out. Stressing is not going to solve anything, it only stops you from enjoying happiness. At the end of the day, everything will work out. Don't regret stuff, just learn from it. I mean, how could I not stress though? I have to provide, like, I have to stream, like, I, I don't have to provide content, I guess. But, like, as a YouTuber, I have to do, I have to do stuff that's interesting, and I'm not in a position to do that, and I won't be probably for the next couple of weeks. Like I can't just go live and sit here and do nothing or do like, sh you know, just boring shit. Like I would feel bad. That's just not how I value my streams. You know, I value my streams very, I'm like, a, like very highly and like a high standard. And you know, that's, that's been, I think that's been my mistake in the past. Like, I don't think I should have done that because now it will, I mean, doing stuff for content is, helped put me in this position unfortunately but i don't know um yeah i'm not going to tell you guys where i think i'm going to move to because i don't want any issues to come from that before i actually move there but I, I think i already know it's just probably somewhere cheap as fuck uh with no state tax but it's also like really uh you know popular you know a, a popular city that's not expensive because well that's anywhere except LA in New York. Like, there's no reason to. Like, it doesn't matter um, too much, I suppose. But you know, I I prefer somewhere cheap because that's just like, why not? Love you, Ice. Don't give up. Your confidence has always inspired me. You can come back from this. You earned your mistakes. Thank you, dude. I, I I'm chat. trying to be confident right now. I'm and I'm still confident. I'm optimistic. I'm a half I'm a half glass full kind of dude, but I'm just I have to figure out a way to get myself out of this hole right now, and I don't know, mother, motherfucker, I don't know how to do that. The well, honest. Since the Reddit, if they've been telling you about everything, and you just turn you. your back on them, and now you're pretty much paying the price for turning your back on your own community. You know, I turned my back on a lot of the people that were just making my life miserable. You know, th so the reason I originally closed the Reddit is because. Uh, Obviously, the investors were getting a lot of flack from a lot of stuff that was going on at that time. 
And in order to protect the investment, because I saw a real vision with the streamer house uh, and to protect everyone else in the house from being fucking homeless, you know, I did what I had to do to try to protect that. And, you know, it doesn't matter anyways, because they still got fucked. So in the end, I got fucked. And now I'm just like left in such a shit situation. Um, basically, the position I'm in right now is I, I pretty much have to trust my viewers to help get me out of it. Um, and I have trust issues, obviously. So that's really difficult. Um, like I have to like you guys have to help me with and i don't like asking for help either but you guys have to help me get me out of this position and that's really you know hard for me because i don't know if i can trust some people and i also don't like being in a position where i feel like i have to get i don't know like help from people i feel like it's very i don't know what the word is here but i just feel like uh I feel like I should be the one helping you guys, you know, with making you happy and laughing and shit. But instead, it's the other way around now, and this doesn't feel good. Hey, Ice, I met you once in Amsterdam. Your RuneScape streams early, and your carrier helped me with my depression. Thank you for that. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. I, I really do. Bro, screw content. Like I said, you do you, and if you build it, they will come. Stop thinking so much about the yes men in the business end. Well, the thing yes is, the if chat. I don't have content for a little bit here because I'm in this shit, shitty, fucked up situation and I go live every day and with no content that people are expecting, then eventually that's going to hurt my channel. And that's obviously the last thing I want to do right now is hurt my channel. So, because um, that's really what I, that's all I have right now is my fucking YouTube channel in my community. So, I, I don't know, dude like this, this but that's the position that i'm in so just it sucks dude it'll get better man half this will help love you bro thank you dude i appreciate that like i i'm gonna do probably this month what i'm gonna do is Been watching you for three years from start of twitch Ozzer's streams go back to osrs i watch your stream highlights all well, the time I love you, bro. I uh, am not in a position where I, sh where I can buy a gaming laptop right now, so I have to wait for the FBI to get me back my laptop, which is why I hired the lawyer to help me get me back my shit, which the lawyer is probably going to cost, you know, like I said, $25,000 retainer, $700 an hour. Um, so I am stuck with this $400 Walmart computer or laptop. Um, fuck, I was going to say something. The next couple weeks and the next month, what I'm going to do for content is I'm probably going to do an isolation stream, like a two day, three day isolation stream to try to hopefully with like a donation goal to hopefully try to get as much fucking money from that as I can so I can pay the lawyer and fucking moving costs. Um, I'm going to give away the fucking Hummer that I was given and just get money from that too. Um, I don't, I don't know what else I could do, honestly, besides that shit. I can't really... IRL at the moment obviously it's it's not in my best interest to do so hey bro you're the man I my eyes you get your job done but you scam blow why don't you out here on your stuff it's a good idea oh do a sleeping stream you weasel there you go easy money I fucked up yeah I mean I could, yeah I could do like sleeping streams and stuff I don't really want to do that I'm kind of forced to do like an isolation stream do I don't really want to do that Trying to please everyone, but I have to. <laughs> I kind of have to. Never please everyone. Go back to your parents. Start from your roots. Do what you like. The people will come. I don't want to. So here's the thing. Do if I like it, you can make a second channel for desktop streams to remove expectations from main channel. Yeah, that's true. But then people are gonna work. Be like, where the fuck is he? And I, I don't know. I, don't, I think that would just cause more problems. Here's the thing. If I move back with my parents, I'm not streaming there. I refuse because my parents are just going to get harassed and we're going to get swatted at the house. And like, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't want to bring those problems to my parents. Um, it's not their problem to deal with. Can we go back with. to helping Ice instead of trying to ruin his life? Weren't you all once Purple Army? He still streams. You ask too much of him. The two is he Reddit BTW. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, Move I mean. to Dallas. $800 a month for apartments. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to. I'm definitely moving, so. 
and I'm trying to do it as soon as I can, as soon Broke as quick as possible. Canada, a lot of content. I can't move to another country. It's going to cause so many issues with like taxes and stuff. It's just not a good idea. <sighs> like I feel like let me just like let me just say something. You did crab dance on your community, man. Yeah, and that was a mistake on my part, and I'm sorry for that. I tried to do what I could to protect the investment, protect the people in the house, and protect the people who are giving me money. So, um, here's the thing. I obviously fucked up when I did that, so I'm sorry. Um, here's the thing. What the fuck? Fuck, dude. What was I going to say? I don't like doing what I'm even doing right now. I literally am live just talking, and, but, like, it's... it's this is not fun for anybody. Like you guys are not having fun. I'm not having fun. Like this sucks. And I'm in, I'm just in this position where it's like, I go live and it's like, like I'm kind of just confiding into you and that's not healthy, nor is that good for a stream or content or my channel or anything. And that fucking sucks, dude. And I, but I have nothing else that I can do. The purple army will never die. Love you, Paul. CX. I mean, thank you. I'm glad you're optimistic as well. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Please stay strong. You made this empire. We love you. This is real. I like to see your life, good or bad. I mean, I guess, Jake, but I feel like you're a very, like, unique Keep minority. Keep the arm thing. You're funny as hell. <laughs> I mean, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Um... If I had a community CX that's built around chat. me, I'd be talking to him during tough times, too. Yeah, but it's like, I'm just scared, dude. I have, like, trust issues. I'm afraid if I... I don't like confiding into viewers because I feel like when I do that, people take... Like, some evil people could take advantage there, of that. Man. Remember how you said you have grown a lot? Well, this is how you actually grow. By getting through tough times. BTW have Tindy Rella sell some Gucci bags to raise cash. She doesn't have any hey, Gucci Paul, bags. Take your time, Paul. We love you, Paul. Just kidding in yourself on stream. It would be the best content that you ever provided. Brandon is eating you alive. Retarded dad, by the way, lol, keep crying. Thank you, dude. I appreciate You're a it. young man. You are 100% will be fine, man. Do this. Come up with like 10 ideas. Send out a survey and let the community decide oh, on thank what you, to got do. you. Do you still check your P.O. box? Yeah. We are here for you. I do check the P.O. box. Cool ice. Hope to meet someday. Yeah, I mean, I can, I, you know, you can post content ideas on Reddit and stuff. And I'll, you know, do that stuff. Like I said, I'm kind of, I can't do anything in LA right now until I get those permits, if I get them. But, yeah, you know, I, I have some photos that I want to post. Let me show you guys. I want to, how do I post these photos? I guess I'll just tweet the photos out. I have some photos I want to actually post. Because I want to do a, uh, a green screen competition. And people can post on Reddit of the photos. And whoever just, I don't know has the best photos that I choose um, can win something. I don't know exactly what yet, but I just want to throw this out there and see what stuff people can come up with to help try to make me at least feel better about myself and, uh, you know, bring some life into Reddit after I've had it closed down for a month. Um, let me take these photos and put them on my desktop. Hold on. And, you know, even with... Oh, this laptop's starting to lag now, isn't it? Fuck, this shit. I, I have an i5. This is an i5, dude. Like, this laptop is so shit. Um, come give me one second. There you go. Imagine making six figures a year but still being broke. IP2 rent-free. Tintos down in the chat. So... I fund this. Die. I don't... Thank you. I don't really consider myself as... I don't think I'm broke. Um, but I'm just like... I have money that's in debt, right? Like my taxes. Like I'm not broke, but I know a lot of, I know my money, all my money is going to taxes right now and I'm filing for them. So like, am I broke? I mean, I guess theoretically sure, but uh, I could just, you know, what's it called? File like late taxes and like be okay, I suppose. But I don't know. Still at the end of the day, I'd be fucked. Is Vold sad moving with you? Um, yeah, he'll be moving with me. Um, which is nice. I, I can't do it alone, so I need somebody. You're the content, Paul. Love Paul. Purple heart. Purple heart. Purple heart. Th thank you, you, you Ulysses. We want Paul, not a YouTuber. Thank you. I mean, in order to grow, I think I need to be a YouTuber, but... CX in the chat. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. 
Um, I wanted to stream earlier today. I just had to deal with a bunch of stuff, so. I don't know. Thank you, dude, for the uh, member, CX dude. In the chat. And thank you as well for the uh, member seat on. I appreciate that. Um, I mean, I could take it out of sponsor-only mode. I just have it in sponsor-only mode just because I just don't want to read just stuff that sh I just don't want to read stuff that's, like, shitty to read right now. Yo, you it should sucks. be happy because you make other PPL happy. Keep up the good work. I stream too. Just be happy you make us happy. Thank you, dude. I, I, I do my best to make people happy. I just can't do that I'm right not now. going to tell you what to do that is up to you. You got rid of the leeches. This is not a setback. You are stronger on your own. Thank you, Andy. We'll talk in Tokyo. This is a blessing. Yeah, I got... Purple dots. I, I got rid of... Uh, I'm not going to help anyone in my life anymore, dude. Honestly, like... You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to make people streamers anymore. I'm not going to give people money anymore or opportunities. And I'm, if I'm dropping frames, I'm sorry. I'm on a shitty fucking laptop because that's all I have after the FBI took all of my shit. And I'm not really in a position to buy a new fucking laptop. Um, yeah, like, I'm not going to help. Like, because, like I said, when I need help, like, who the fuck helps me? <laughs> like, I... You know what I mean? Like, I'm left... Like, I'm alone in... I feel, I feel alone in this world. Like, I'm just left with just you guys, honestly. So I'm not helping anybody anymore. Tired of it, like fuck everybody for the most part. It's just annoying. Think back to a month ago, you move into a huge mansion and do nothing and barely stream. Now you lost everything and are gonna stream a lot because you need to. You don't have the passion anymore. You know, I still have passion and that's why I worked my ass off to try to get this investment to make the streamer house happen. Um, and then obviously, you know, a bunch of people did not like that the streamer house was happening, I guess, and they doxed everybody who was a part of the deal and and, and and reported the house to everything that they possibly could, the city, the police, everything, to try to really fuck up everything. And I, at the same time, had to try to manage everyone in the house to make sure they were being successful as well. And in the end, I fucked myself. I really put a lot of weight on my shoulders and everybody was really just against the idea and they just you know like i said they doxed the investors and everything and then in the end i got fucked so like it sucks dude like i really like i tried to make content at the streamer house but it's just there were so many other issues i had to deal with it's just like hard gl moving out of this corrupt city bro love you eyes you haven't had content in months giraffe says but it's like, like i've tried i've definitely tried i've been dealing with a lot Keep of shit head up, man you're gonna get through this cx you know what i mean like thank you dude i appreciate that i just like what do i chat what do i do for the next you got month? greedy and karma caught up with you you help people and use them as well you should get yourself emotionally stable before you stream more well is it really greedy though because in the end, I don't really have anything. So I don't think it's greed. Um, whatever. Sure, people came into my life and they were a part of my stream. So they were content. But they definitely got a more out of this than I did. Even now, a lot of these people I've helped, they still have something out of it. And I don't have anything out of it. <laughs> so. CX thank you, Leo. Appreciate it. And thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it as well. This guy in the chat says this is like a Mitch Jones situation, but I, I hope not because uh, I I don't want it to be like, I don't have a choice in the matter. Like, I don't want to do this right now, what I'm doing. I just have to because I don't have any other outlet to go to and I don't know what else to do. And I also have to get content on my youtube channel somehow if it's anything even if it's this and i also have to raise money to move and pay my lawyer now that bail is muted for 24 hours i would also like to ask the moderators to give axiom his members back thank you william i appreciate the member dude i mean tra see like travel streams i can't travel right now chat I, I really i can't afford to like you know what i mean i i can't like after like i have to and i have to pay my fucking taxes dude like i can't afford to travel right now um and I've, i don't know 
Will you read my $50 donation, please? Yeah, I saw the $50, Don. Um, let me, my computer's lagging like hell. Let's see if I can find it here. CX. Thank you. I appreciate that, homie. Um, I, I did read your $50 donation. I CX in the chat. I saw what it said. I appreciated it. Um, but let me go back down just to make sure. Right here, $50. Um, you said... Where the fuck? You have no I idea how much I understand you. I've been trying to connect if for a while in more ways. Gaming, you will take a drop on view count, but it will also bring new people. Thank you. Uh, everything I'll check you the Instagram DMs. Thank you. Spot. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I should, but uh, I'm going to have to do desktop stuff, obviously, like I said. Travel streams are going to generate a lot of revenue, and you can fund other travel streams. You do it right. Andy, here's the thing, though. I've never really made too much money doing IRL. It's never, like, a never. You know what I mean? Like, even when I have TTS on and stuff, like, I've just never made money doing IRL. Not much, at least. Um, and the amount of problems that I run into doing IRL that cost me money is real. Like, you know, what if, and especially with me being on t informal probation, how do I, like, if I, I can't, like, if I get swatted, for example, the police are now going to give me no credibility and they're going to fuck with me every goddamn time. And that's not going to be good. And somehow it's going to cost me money to do something i love you man you should be happy cause you make us happy i stream too shit gets hard fight through it i love you man keep it up thank you dude i appreciate that homie austin is the place fam i mean i don't know where yet but uh possibility for sure thank you dude um here Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. Yeah, I mean, uh, and Andy, if I travel as well, it's like the money I'm making, I'm spending. I need to save question, money, bro. Is there any prayer Twitch takes you back? You could monetize there in no time. Is there anyone you can reach out to for a second chance? Um, probably not. Yeah, I'm going to slap you with truth. That would be nice, but probably not. Convenient. They'd, you have brought things on yourself. They uh, sit there and cry, but open your mind. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Look how you have treated people eyes. Yeah, I don't Give think. Mental help. I don't think uh, Twitch will ever unban me because I have been very cocky and have done a lot of decisions that I obviously regret at this point. Uh, because, yeah, but I mean, I always just tried to, you know, be something for the people that had nowhere else to go, and that was my mistake, obviously. Do a workout stream. We want to see you more fit. Please, more workout streams this month. Workout streams. I mean, I just get I kicked out of all the gyms, but I've been wanting to do that. It's just I, I could just work out at home, but I just don't have the Investors motivation to. Investors want a return on their money. Did you think that was free? We know you are moving to Missouri. I'm not moving to Missouri. I don't like Missouri, and they did want to invest the return on their money, obviously. But now they pulled out, so they don't anymore. They you just... got this, Paul. Believe in yourself. Love you. I believe in myself, but yeah, it just it's hard. I have to just figure a lot of shit out. You don't need a network of streamers around you. Your solo streams are by far and what's best for you 100%. Get back on that solo grind, homie. Move to St. Paul, Minnesota. It'll be like the new chapter of Paul, the Saint. I guess I'll say it this. I'll say this. Are you ever going to take accountability for anything in life? You are still blaming or downfall on everyone but yourself. If it's not the toxic people, it's it too. Figure it out, Paul Richard I literally, Jordan Danino. I, I literally just said that I regret most decisions in my life. I literally just said that, okay? Um, you know, and if I could go back a fucking year and a half, I, I would because like this sucks like i tried i had way too much ambition and i really tried really fucking hard to for to make good content and to be something um you know and and to be something for other people as well you know what i mean i wanted to make my own platform my own network because i wanted there to be something for people who had nowhere to go and i also wanted to try and grow something for myself because i have this ambition 
And that was, you know, obviously a mistake on my part. I should have just worried about myself and I should have just not burned bridges with a lot of different people and a lot of different platforms. Uh, and in the end, I'm really, in a, you know, just alone here. So it sucks. You haven't had content since RV trip one. You're just baiting donos. You haven't had content since yeah. RV trip one. I mean, I, I did say, I just said that, uh, this, the whole next month here, I'm going to have to figure out content. That's going to get me as much, try to get me as much money as possible because I am financially not in a good spot. So keep your head up, take your time and do you. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, homie. I mean, Shutting down CX? Going yeah. solo still? Yeah. If so, it's about time you looked out for you. Yeah, I'm. that's what I'm doing. CX in the chat. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I mean, people in the chat did say that they want, like, GTA RP or Dude, like next year at this time, gaming streams or whatever. Really still the most popular, famous, and kick-ass streamer. This will be a good thing. Screw it, two BTW. Why is Lexi still streaming in the house? You can borrow Thank my you. PC tiller on her feet, bud. I mean, I would like to borrow a computer if somebody has. What's the deal with the investors? Love you, bro. They got. They pulled out. They got docs and pulled out. Um. If somebody in LA has a computer with an i7, that would be great. I don't want to ask people for their shit because I feel really bad doing that. And a lot of people will probably try and hold it over my head and say I owe them something, which I don't want. I don't like that. But, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm using an i5 $400 computer from Walmart right now. So, yeah, I mean... I could just do gaming stuff like people in the chat said, but it's not going to, it might mate, it might maintain my channel, but it won't get me anywhere. And, you know, obviously this is a business, so I have to be careful and not uh, bring my business down, even if it's in my best interest to try to get, do stuff that gets more money, like gaming streams and stuff. A wise man once told me, there are highs and lows, ride the waves. We will get through this together. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Throw highs and lows, but this is this is rough, dude. I've like four money, different things that's going on, and this is rough. All clip channels, and also, how about you promote my brand? I'll pay good. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. It honestly sucks seeing you go through this. Called you during Vold stream and told you that you've inspired me to become a streamer in New York. You are changing people's lives, man. Legend. Well, thank you, Hazim. Only up from here. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I wish I could just, like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I, I wish I could just, like, do just chill shit and just be fine. Like, I envy a lot of other streamers, dude. Like, I wish I could just sit around and just do nothing every day. I, like maybe I can do that for a week, but my channel is gonna get really hurt if I do that for too long. I, I do envy that because IRL is like if you don't do it correctly, and I have not been doing it correctly, it can fuck you, and it has fucked me. Hey Paul, sorry you're down. We'll have a real chat off stream when you get here, and I'll show you a good time in Tokyo. Thank you, dude. I, I can't wait to go to Japan. That will make me feel a lot better. I mean, we go to Japan in six days. We'll stream in Japan. That'll be fucking awesome. I can't wait to stream in Japan. It's going to be really, really good. But uh, damn, it's like once I come back from Japan, I still got to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with this whole situation. Is it true, gold memes? Does the community ask too much from you? No, they don't. I just ask too much for myself, honestly. That's what it is, I think. I made this four minute video for you. I hope it makes you happy, Paul. We love ya. Hey, let me tell you something. This guy. I did not crab dance on my community, Zero Cool. I crab danced on the people that aimed to try to ruin my life. To try to really fuck with me. You know what I mean? I crab danced on the people that were trying to bring misery to me and everyone around me. 
you don't understand the context of what I did there, I suppose. Which is fine. Yeah, it's in the chat. Just a misunderstanding. And I don't even smoke. I don't really vape or like I vape zero usually zero nick. This is good to see you back. This there is, is only one IRL king if that's you. This is sixty percent. This would be as it's today. Thanks it's for everything for now and in the future. Thank you. Um, this I appreciate it. This is six percent. This is sixty milligrams of nicotine because I'm so stressed. I need, like, I need to just something to cool me off. You got rid of SSJ. Good first step. Remember daily RuneScape streams? That's where your early fan slash purple army came from. Nothing wrong with RuneScape streams, just like Hold were the best. I got banned under Discord True. and stuff, but I still support you. I hope you figure it out. You make us happy and then that should make you happy. John Monox. Thank you, dude. No, I'm not addicted to nicotine there, chat. I think, uh... Like, I mean, I, I mean, probably would suck. If I just stopped smoking this right now, I'd probably be like, fuck, I want some nicotine right now. Because I've been smoking this for the past week now, the 60 fucking milligrams of nicotine. But I'm not an addictive person. I can cut it pretty quickly. You can't just forgive and forget. You need to stop being so smug and start listening more to your fans. Stop thinking you have all the answers. You're so thick-headed. It's not too late to start. Well, I never tried to be like that, and I'm sorry if I was. Um, growing up, I only had myself. I never confided in my parents. I never had friends. I never talked to anybody. So I am definitely self-centered. I'm a very self-centered human being, and uh, but that doesn't make me a bad person. I'm self-centered because I grew up very alone, and I only had myself to talk to. So I always only trust myself. And that's part of the issues. That's part. That's one of the issues that I have, obviously. Surrounding yourself with good holes and people should be your number one priority. Save money and build yourself back up slowly. Well, that's what I'm attempting to do by moving and not doing CX Network anymore. You are the content. We want Paul, not a YouTuber. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. If you donate, the donations are like 20 minutes behind. Cheers, homie. So. Just beer mugs. be careful, or if you donate, that's why it takes some time to come in. Thank you, dude. Sam at the courthouse, did you guys talk after? Yeah, we went, We had you lunch, Oslo. You more 24 years than many people achieve in their entire lives. Me and Sam had a good this time talking. This will make you stronger. You need someone you can talk to Nothing. outside this community. Therapist. I apologize to Sam. Something. That's true. I do. A life coach might be good. I have my girlfriend. She makes me happy. I actually do trust my girlfriend. Um, I, yeah, I apologize to Sam. We had lunch, and then that was it. Then we went our separate ways, so that was fun. We've told you multiple times we don't need big production streams. We just want you to stream and hang out. You should post your PayPal. Ask CX Flashback what his brand is. What do you Put mean? this towards the gaming laptop. I'm down for some desktop streams for a couple of weeks. Just keep on keeping on, and this will be in the rearview mirror soon. Just hopefully not the army trucks. CX. Your issue is that you still see IP2 as your enemy, but you are forgetting that the users in IP2 are probably your biggest fans or have been your biggest fans. All we want in is old ice solo content. You know, I'm not talking about the users. Uh, the actual moderators of that subreddit got banned from my original subreddit for a certain reason. Um, you know, I don't hate the users on the subreddit. I just don't want to endorse or advertise that Reddit. Because the moderators were originally banned from my Reddit, uh, and their original Discord was banned as well because of really disgusting photos that they used to post, and they've done really disgusting acts uh, a long, long time ago. Um, I know a lot of users don't really know the origin of that of the people who own that sub, but it's they've done some really disgusting things, and I don't like any of their fucking moderators they're all disgusting fucking people why do you look like anyone with emu hair i just want to see try hard in the chat thank you dude i appreciate that homie not every day can be a party we are here for the marathon not a race they are too short get the right minds around the business table and plan all plan 
Pay what attention they... very carefully what I'm about to tell you. Sleep stream, hotel or wherever. Let viewers pay to pays you, smack you, and all that crazy stuff again instinct money homie CX for life. Andy, I mean, we could do that. Andy, I know, uh, get away from the stuff that makes people mega toxic, like tasing people and stuff. But, you know, that's probably what I plan on doing. If I do an isolation stream, I'll do it very, like, psychological isolation stuff. Like, psychological, like, stuff that's, in, like, interesting and entertaining, but it's, like, psychological stuff, not tor physical torture. But we'll see. I mean, I, I think that's how I should do it. Um, and I, dude, the moderators of that subreddit, what they used to do, um, like, I don't want to, like, it is, I don't want to say, I don't want to talk about it. It's, like, it sucks, but I... If you really want to know the origin of that fucking subreddit that uh, people all flocked to when I closed out my Reddit, they started with fucking CP. They started with actual fucking child porn. They used to post disgusting photos of like children in their Discord, and then they got banned. And I banned them from my community because they're disgusting fucking people. And they call the police on people. They try to get people doxxed, swatted, killed. And you know what? They all in the in the end all they want is clout which you could see when they fucking made an an AMA on their own subreddit like nobody cares about an AMA from you motherfuckers okay you made some sh some subreddit that people flocked to when uh, I shut mine down and now you want clout from it now you want attention nobody gives a shit about your fucking AMA you're a bunch of disgust like those moderators are a bunch of disgusting individuals and people just don't understand where that shit originated from and who they are. Is your loving GF moving with you too? Yeah, she will be. She's one of the only people I trust. And if you don't believe me, I'm sure you can dig up some shit and find, find out for yourself. <laughs> I don't think it's that hard, right? Uh, I don't really know how to, but you could probably find something. Tell mods to merge CX and chill. Um, no, that was just an April Fool's joke. How do you stream if you are banned from YouTube? I'm not. What are you talking about? CX in the chat. Uh, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. And by the way, a lot of the moderators on... Yeah, like what Mike said, a lot of the moderators on that subreddit that is on that... You know what I mean? On the, the, a lot of the moderators on that subreddit, they got banned for just disgusting photos and they were like making fun of the new zealand shit like that just happened you know what i mean like they're just disgusting fucking people and i don't hate the users who go on there it just like it sucks that they don't understand who they're like giving power to you know what i mean it just it really fucking sucks it's a lot of malicious disgusting fucking people that own that shit that own that reddit do you hate me gold memes uh, no, I don't, but thank you, dude. I don't know who, what that is. I know it sucks, but at least now you know for sure who's worth keeping around in your life. Keep your head up. You know, besides Voldesad and my girlfriend, I mean, there's some other people. You got, like, you know, some, some other friends in LA. They're all... I don't know. They're worth keeping around, but when I move, like, I just, I just, like, no offense to anybody who lives in LA right now that I do like, but obviously, like, I just need to get away from LA and because the majority of the people here just suck. CX in the chat. Why you wait so long to drop that bomb? Because this, I don't, like, this, I don't, I just would rather just ignore the situation than give them any sort of attention, right? CX in the chat. And it's also not professional for me to t call out other subreddits and be like, yeah, you know, the moderators there are disgusting people. Like, it's just not professional at all. But, you know, probably should just say it since nobody fucking knows. A wise knows. man once told me there are highs and lows in life. Yes. Right. It's repeating itself, but thank you. I'm not taking the butlers with me. Probably not. I don't know. Luchador says he could, like, live wherever, but it's CX like, in the I, chat. Don't, I, I don't want anyone to live with me. When I move, I'm gonna have two houses. I'm gonna have a place I live and a place I stream at. And no one is ever allowed at my house that I actually live at. No viewers, nobody, no, no fucking, I'm never gonna stream there, nothing. No one will ever know where I live. 
Uh, and then I have a studio apartment that I stream at where people can visit or come in or whatever. I'm just going to do that because I don't want to get evicted constantly. And I don't want to bring, like, I want to just separate my life from just anything else because, like, I need that. CX in the chat. It's not going to be that expensive. I'll get a shitty studio apartment for like $500 a month or something uh, to stream at. That's fine. You did the best you could and in the end it wasn't your fault. So do not worry. CX is with you. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, Victor, you've told me to do that before. I know. I just didn't do that. Do you know the reason why I've never done that before? Hashtag chill. Because I've... Uh, I've always wanted to mix my life with with streaming. I always thought that was fun or like a good idea. But, you know, obviously it's not. And I totally regret that. I should have never mixed my actual personal life with streaming. Because in the end, not only just because of my position that I'm in, but mentally it's not healthy. I'm in a very unhealthy mental state right now. I'm not depressed. I'm not this. I'm not depressed or suicidal or anything like that. But the way I've conditioned my brain is very unhealthy. When people tell me that I'm wrong, I get annoyed at them. That is not good. Because I'm not fucking... I'm not always right. Um, and it sucks. And I don't mean to get annoyed at people when they tell me I'm wrong. It's just how I've conditioned myself from being around too many people that say what I want to hear for the past two years. Um... You know, I'm just very, my brain is very skewed. I'm very out of touch with reality and that's not healthy. Um, you know, I've become a lot more stubborn and just spiteful uh, with certain situations because people tell me that's either okay and no one's ever argued with me. So, you know, I need to condition myself back into reality uh, you know, where it's okay if I'm wrong and drop my pride a little bit and, you know, all this other stuff. You're kidding, right? You tried managing people in the mansion? LMA, you let us SJ run roughshod while you slept and farted around with your GF. Just stop with the revisionist history. No. We saw it all. I mean, SSJ definitely, uh, you know, he, I don't know how to put this. He like, uh, got the deal so you know if i was doing stuff that like i didn't want to go against him a bunch you know what i mean i don't know how else to say i just didn't want to go against him a bunch because he got the deal and if i felt like if i went against him way too much he would just drop the deal and i didn't want that to happen because i saw a real vision and that kind of scared me so I kind of just, if he did stuff that I disagreed with, I argued with him about it, but I never, like, what what else could I do? Guys, everybody should be thanking you. Without you, they would all be vloggers. Not really greedy, you did try to help, but you're just in general really stupid trying to sound smart. If you were smart, you wouldn't have done this. Yeah, that's probably true. CX in the chat. But you know, you don't uh, you don't even you don't know until you experience stuff, right? Before you experience stuff, it's hard to understand that you're not going to be wrong or that you're wrong or something. Why take down a network? I S N T that some income. No, I've I've been losing money in the network. I spend four hundred dollars a month to keep the servers up on the network, and I get nothing out of it. I could just charge people like ten percent. Um, to be on the network and take their donations. But I didn't want to do that because I wanted to help people and I want them to make as much money as possible. And I could afford to spend $400 a month. Uh, so that's just me being nice. But I see nothing to gain from it now. In fact, it's only, it's only hurt my brand. You know, these, if somebody on the network does something that's terrible or bad, it reflects on me and it makes me look like a bad person. And it makes CX and my brand look really terrible as well. And, uh, yeah, I, that's what's been going on, and I don't want that anymore. I don't want people to reflect who I am as a person when I have no control over it. CX in the chat. And also, 
as Missy says in the chat, if I take if I would have taken ten percent from a lot of people in the CX network, I feel like some of them might have just used it for to cause drama. Like, oh, ICE is taking ten percent of my donations, and then now I'm stuck with like a bunch of drama that gets people to hate me that I've helped. Like, for example, if somebody in the network said stuff like oh, he's taking ten percent, now his content is getting people to throw hate on the me when all I did was help them or help him. And that's not everybody in the, on the network, but a few people in the network have definitely done that. They have their, their content was putting a camera in my face at my expense and trying to cause drama that got me hate. So they get donations, but, and instead of trying to help each other, like that was what was happening. I've never understood why you did not take Destiny's advice and charge streamers a percentage to be on CX Network. Well, that, I it just said like why. It an obvious and realistic move monetize what you can Yeah, I, I said that, and yeah, I just think, yeah, there, it would have just backfired, so. Let's say, you can own Florida. Let me tell you. If, let's say, when Salmon Andy or Burger Planet was on the CX Network, do you think Burger Planet would have willingly gave me 10%? No, I would have had to argue with him. And then after I argue with him, he would go on his stream and be like, Ice really wants 10% of my donations. Why should I have to give him 10%? I just won't be on the network. And then everyone would donate and he would pander to fucking Reddit and he would be like, oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, Ice shouldn't, uh, shouldn't ask me for money. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. And everyone would be like, fuck Ice. That's what everyone would say. Fuck Ice. He's a fucking Jew. And then Burger Planet or somebody would be like, yeah, you know, like I need to convince him to not like give you know fucking money or take money from me because this is like blackmail or something uh th this is like what you know what i mean that's what that's what would happen so it's like not even worth my fucking time to deal with like i'm just like all right just i'll spend 400 a month y'all can have like like it's fine dude ice just take the month off you're as big as stock and tyler and can come back really big Imagine the first stream back. Well, I can't really take afford to take the month off. I, I can't afford to do that, but thank you. Victor, you're right. I shouldn't have put shitty yes, people in the network. Didn't play. If you need the money, let's start by taxing all clip channels and also promoting my store and brands. We can do an easy four-figure deal, bro. Hit me up. Uh, CX flashbacks, let me tell you. Well, first of all, uh, what the fuck are you talking about? If I wanted to make a merch store, I'll make my own merch store. I don't need you. I don't need to split money with you to make a merch store. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've seen your channel, and your channel is leeching off all the people who are in the CX network, and I don't need you to make fucking money, dude. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to advertise your merch store and split money with you. I'm just going to make my own merch store and get 100% of the profit. Uh, like... What I should do is strike your fucking channel and take it down, which is probably what I'm going to do now, just because you think I need to use your fucking merch store and make you money. Can I get a shout out to Sean Ranklin? But yeah, I shouldn't have put some shitty people in the network. I agree. I just, I don't know. I really just tried to help people and I saw some of them as, co as content, but I need to not Can see people as content. Can you confirm my $20 don't was. know about 15 minutes ago it hasn't came I, through I, I, I need to, on my card. I need to see people as uh, as people instead of content, I guess. I, I don't, I, you know, let me see, Nathan. Let me see where our mother trucker. Let me see what Come you said. Chicago, I'm it's sorry nice if I missed it. If I missed the donation, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just really behind and my computer is lagging like a motherfucker because it's an i5. Um... Hey, man, I know everything will work out for you. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Thing is, you don't need network streams around you. Your solo streams are by far the best. Get back on the solo grind. Thank Open you, Mother Trucker. to everyone without Benny. Let us help you. IP2 is full of a lot of people that are still with you, too. My, uh, Believe me, my Reddit, you're not alone. My Reddit is open to everybody. You just need a six-month-old account or more. If you need anybody to talk to my DMs, I guess what we could do is... It helped me out a lot when I had stuff could... going on in my life. So it's time to give back to you. Thank you, homie. Um, I appreciate that very much. I think, uh, I mean, I could make the, the Reddit like one month old accounts and more. The, the reason why it's six month old accounts and higher is because of alts. People have alts and I don't, and there's no other way to counter alt accounts. 
that obviously caused a lot of issues for my moderators to moderate. Um, so I feel like six months isn't that bad. Like who hasn't been on Reddit for at least six months, unless you're brand new to it, I suppose. Um, but obviously, as you've seen, there's an issue with my Reddit. People have been downvoting everything. Um, you know, the other Reddit, I think, is downvoting everything and or downvote bonding or something. I don't know. There's just downvotes on a bunch of shit. I don't know how to fix that, obviously. Yo, fuck it's $21. I have a fucking awesome PC. So, if you want to, you can send me this via email and I can upload and edit them for free. They'll be moved to Toronto. My email, well, I have an editor, so that's not a big deal, but thank you, homie. We all make mistakes. A wise man once okay, said, This is uh, repeating itself. Thank life. you, dude. Ride the waves. I appreciate that, homie. You know, I've been playing RuneScape on mobile. That's how I drown my sorrows. I hope it makes you happy, Paul. I just drown all my I sorrows playing RuneScape. This is my second I'm fishing 82 to get minnows. Um, let me see what that says. Hold on. Let me You're see what that is. I don't think I can watch the videos right now. Because this, this is a very Screw the permits. basic shit Cali computer. Is so expensive to live in. Move ASAP, yeah. I don't even know where the fucking video is. I'm sorry. And around. They seem to be the least toxic people around you. They have great content. It's a win-win for you and them. By the stream way. Stream seems to flow when you hang with them. When I move. Put your stupid pride to the side and stream with Hampton only. He can save your career. I would never stream with Hampton Brandon. I would rather go back to school and live with my parents than stream with Hampton Brandon. That, well, you know what he's doing with Uber is absolutely disgusting. I don't know if I'm the only one who sees it. I really hope other people see it too and they just don't give a shit. But Hampton Brandon is obviously manipulating the fuck out of Uber. And Uber's a grown man, so it's not really manipulation. Uber's just really desperate for attention. He's desperate for viewers. And he's desperate to fit in. And Hampton Brandon is taking full advantage of that. For example, TTD tattoo on his fucking face when Hampton Brandon 100% knows that he's not going to be friends with Uber probably a month from now. Um, you know, and then he's saying that he's taking over Uber's channel and wants to change the name on his channel. And Uber's just like, yeah, bro, sure, we, I'll do that. Because he wants to fit in. And, like, I feel bad for Uber. Like, it sucks. I don't think Uber's a malicious person. I just think he wants to fit in really, really fucking bad. But he's doing it with people that don't have his best intention. When Uber left the CX network, I never was friends with him. I never really wanted to hang around him. Because, obviously, I just saw no loyalty in him. And I just, something was off with him. But I still had his best intentions in mind. Before, I think a few days ago, or before you streaming with Brandon, the, uh, one of the last DMs I sent to him was, um, I could just pull it up, but it's like, uh, I said, you should stream on Twitch. I said, uh, you should use the CX network, advertise your Twitch for as long as you can. Um, and then when it's time to move, you, you, you move and you, you know, you take advantage of that. And, you know, that's, that's what you should do. I gave him real advice that would help him. But instead, he decided to do what he's doing right now, which is obviously the wrong move, because not only is he fucking me over, not really fucking me over, but like, if you're going to talk shit about me, you don't, people like him don't seem to understand that no one else in this space is going to want to work with you. You think any other streamer is going to want to work with Uber after what he's, you know, the loyalty that he's shown? Um, no, of course not. He looks like a an asshole and no one's gonna want to work with him and he's just he just looks terrible but yeah i mean it just sucks i don't know i feel bad for you bro i really fucking do but he'll he'll see he's gonna be very alone in probably a month or something and it's he's not gonna he's not gonna be in a good place of the gangnam style thank you dude i appreciate that homie CX in the chat. He knows he won't make it on Twitch. Yeah, but, uh, you know, he could network. You know what I mean? But now he's not going to be able to network. I guarantee you, if Uber didn't pull the move that he pulled, he could have networked with Raj, got on Raj's talk show. Um, because, 
obviously, and he's done it before, and, you know, because obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people on Twitch know who the people in the CX network are, so it's like, okay, Uber's easy content, so Raj would probably put him on the talk show, and then from that, he gets a host. From from that, he talks to other streamers, gets to know them, and then from that, he just gets more viewers and subscribers and blah, blah, blah um, on his own channel. But now he is... No one's ever going to work with him, because why would they? Why are you pretending to be poor? You spent 70k on a crappy truck. Stop baiting donos acting poor and being victim. I didn't spend any money in the truck. The investors bought the truck, and, and it scuffed Steve Jobs' truck. It's not mine. I have an and I'm in law. We've met on stream before. Uh, thank you, dude. I mean, I'm not really in the position to hang out right now, but thank you, dude. I... You should see us for making bad business I get there. decisions and doing a lot of ideas that cost you money and viewers. No. SSJ is to blame for there's no, there's no, I can't sue anybody. Let's be, come on. That's how I do you sue people? As, and no, for Discord, I'll that's bad. You can't, I'm not doing that. Uh, but thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Financial problems. Most streamers move to Texas. I mean, Texas is definitely cheap, and they have good internet, so. Could be a good, uh, Hey man, good where's the jewel? Have a hit. I am, it's dead now. <laughs> For the most part. CX in the I'm chat. not going to be streaming any community service. No, that's not a good idea. That's only going to cause me issues. So, fuck that. Um, the dry heat in, in Texas, yeah, Texas is, hot, is heat. Well, it's very hot there and it's dry heat, but it's fine. It's, I'm from Admitted, Florida, I'm used to you it. You had a manic episode. Go ahead and prab dance on your community Thank you. again. Thank you. That was the most disrespectful. These are very, very old donations. Yes, I, I'm not manic, but thank Scuff you. Scuff cooking streams, sleep streams, 24 hours to you. I will do a lot of 24-hour, some kind of streams this month for sure, dude. Keep your head up, man. Don't stress about the money. Just do the right things in life and the money will come and things will fall in place. Us real fans will always stick around. Thank I you, used homie. to watch you a long time ago, before Pokemon. I continued watching through IRL, but then the channel Ice Poseidon was full of people I didn't really give a shit about. I tuned in for you, not Andy's. A lot of people have said what that, but now that you tried to I understand. Take care of unreliable people instead of taking care of yourself. War's mistake was listening to Brent Catskills. He lost all his bank. Don't do that shit. And I've learned. I've learned a lot for Love sure. Love you, bro. You have changed lives. Don't worry, this is a small bump in the road. Even Steve Jobs was kicked from his own company. Also, why don't you file a six-month extension on your taxes? I probably will do hey man, that. And Steve like Jobs had millions of dollars at least, though, right? So that's at least he has something to fall back on. I don't have that to fall back on, which is annoying. Have you considered getting a therapist? I think I could really help you. I would like a therapist. I just don't have one right now. I should get one. I've been wanting to. Stay up, I Sam. Watch the streams no matter what CX. Well, thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Uh, this... <laughs> I, I, I would play RuneScape right now if I wasn't on the computer. The issue is that you never listen to your community. We never won in leeches yet. You forced them onto us. All we wanted is I solo even if you have a bad stream. You know, I... People said that a lot, but then when I brought leeches on my stream people gave good like uh, reinforcement behind it whether it's from a lot of donations a lot of views you know a lot of drama that people really liked i don't know i, I got a lot of positive reinforcement when from when i brought leeches on but obviously that's not good for me as a person and a lot of people didn't like that but you know i was obviously confused Pobdenino plus autism equals content thank you homie I appreciate that, dude. Dude, stay positive. Once you go to the new state with solo streams and no leeches, it will be better. Pushing non-talented streamers like Harvey Andy and others was just stupid. Do what you do best. CX. Ice Cammy Plaza have a real talk off stream on DC. What do you mean? The donations are backed up by like 30 minutes. What the hell? I'm You'll so be sorry. Fine. Ice. Just make good decisions. These kids need guidance, not just content. Does anyone in the chat need guidance? Is that true, though? You should focus on building a site that solves the problem that you have. Getting banned. 
Create a network where streamers can come and do stuff that is within legal limits, but they won't get banned. Well, that's what I tried to do, but they... Paul, <laughs> that didn't work. You just said this a business, so I need content. You are not a business. You are you. Separate your mind from business. Do you? I mean, that's true. I am me, but... Shattergate stream with Grimoire. I tried to just make saying. a business CS. out of it. A business, a business is harder to run than people think, though. Um, yeah. Why did you stick with SSJ after all the original hate? Honestly, most of the hate from Reddit was on him, but since you stayed with him, it came back to you. Uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done CX that. CX in the chat. I really fucked up doing that. Like I said, I tried to protect all the people around me, but in the end, I kind of fucked myself, right? Which sort of sucks. But, you know, we learn and we move forward, so. If you are on IP2, you're IP2. If you subscribe to IP2, you are supporting pedo files. Reply P2 repedo Reddit pedo Reddit type P2 as pedo mods report IP2 report IP2. Thank you, homie. I I've been appreciate watching that. for a while. I know things will work out for you, man. I know more positive people will find you. I hope so. I can. I can only hope so. I mean, I. I, I really. I really want a very nice, like memey trolly community but i don't want any of the toxic shit and i've 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 fucked up in cultivating the wrong type of community for sure over the past year and that is one of my major fuck ups i i should have been more strict with my moderating i was just always scared to moderate because as you know as i've said before i'm insecure and i always felt like if i moderated people would leave and you know, I don't. I didn't want people to leave because I was insecure about uh, not being like a good streamer or something. I don't know. So I just didn't moderate shit. But uh, I should have. Even if people called me a fucking Nazi, Nazi mod or whatever the fuck, you know, I shouldn't have cared about that shit. If humans were perfect, life would be pointless. But I'm starting. You know, I've, I've been doing it recently, and I've started, you know, moderating a hell of a lot more, so it's fine. You like, got fans who hate you and the ones who we'll love cultivate you. something Both differently and the, realize when and you it, are gone. with time. You want to be another streamer that Hopefully. will even come close to your content. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate exactly that. Exactly right, brother. Keep your home 100% separate from your streaming apartment slash location. It's all a learning experience, man. The, yeah, the this reboot you are doing is the, what needs... Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. The uh, the no censorship uh, thing and not moderating enough was... Like, there's a reason why most communities moderate. Because in the end, it sort of just implodes on itself. And that sucks. And I'm sorry for anybody who has joined this community that... You know, it really enjoys it. Because I know some of it has just imploded on itself and it sucks. But, like I said, I'm trying to cultivate something better with... More moderation. Been watching since you brought Nathan to the hookah bar and been addicted to the streams ever since. You'll be back on top soon. Love you guys and go visit Utica, New York when trying to find a new home. Top five people you've met in law. Doesn't have to be in any order. Let me say you're always a victim in your mind is why you think your life sucks. Let me tell you. I'm not the victim here. I, I, I don't know if you just came in like 10 minutes ago. This is why live streaming conversations like this doesn't work very well because people come in late and they don't under they don't see the full picture they don't they haven't been listening to what I've been saying the whole time and it comes off like out of context and bad and really bad um I'm in this position because I fucked up for the past two years on a bunch of different stuff um and that's why I'm where I am today you know what I mean I'm the leader of this community and I fucked up you said you apologized to Sam. Will you please rekindle your friendship with him? I feel like he actually cares about you as a real Well, I'm friend. moving out of LA, so I, you, I, I don't really see the point. I mean, he's. I, I talked to him. I wish you good luck and and many blessings this year. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that, dude. Um, thank you, homie. Hindsight is twenty twenty. The Caskill's behavior from the start of the house was absurdly bizarre and ironically toxic. Your silence, for whatever reason, was a middle finger to your community. Well, hey, like, I send me my username is Justin Martinez. I, I, I need your your YouTube channel link. 
like I said, the reason for the silence was because SSJ is the one who got the deal. And I was very afraid of him retracting the deal if I, you know, went against him. So there you go. That That's the situation. Um, I didn't want to go against the person who I was basically relying on because the house is in his name, not mine, because uh, I didn't want my name on this fucking house because I knew that could cause issues. So he basically had his name on the house, he got the deal, and I just didn't want him to obviously, I don't know, like kick me out or something. I don't fucking know. Not that I'm saying he would, but I just didn't want to even go there, you know? Wish you the best be strong. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Why don't you start a network separate from CX in your name where people have to pay monthly to be able to advertise their stream on it? Because that's still going to cause me with people who are going to take advantage of that. I'd rather just focus on myself and not to see why you got to say it like that. Thank you, Dave. I understand I take content, but to counter it, I donate all the money back to the streamers. You didn't have to be a douche about it. I do this channel for fun. Well, I'm sorry if I came off that way. I'm just telling you how you this came off. This all started going downhill when you kicked your biggest godson, Sam Pepper. Okay. He would have Thank cracked you. the whip on the leeches on the house while you slept. For taking a cut, all you would have to do is make a legally binding contract. Take all of their streaming revenue and give them their percentage split monthly like a YouTube network does. No drama. Yeah, but people like Salman Andy and shit, like people would have just made drama, you know what I mean? So it just wasn't even worth it. It to do that because I just didn't want any fucking drama so bro it too is not to blame for things being downvoted on if one the memes there are just shit you say the reddit is open for anyone to post but 99% of the memes on if two would be banned because they are too sensitive whenever you explain your decisions you sound goofy as fuck then you undermine anyone who disagrees with you they are all reddit panderers who with an agenda you are doomed to fail well, I apologize if that's how I come off. Like I said, it's I've conditioned my way. Uh, I've conditioned myself in a very unhealthy way where I'm surrounded by yes men. And, uh, you know, when somebody disagrees with me, I definitely get annoyed by that. And when I shouldn't, because I've conditioned my, my mindset in a very unhealthy way over the past few years, like I said. Um, and if your memes would get you banned on my Reddit, then there's probably a reason for that. If there's not, I don't know. I'm not... Not really that sensitive though. Compare myself to other streamer subreddits and streamer communities. I don't think I'm that sensitive. Growing other channels was your worst mistake, especially on YouTube where there are like no streamers, just leeches. Hope you consider Twitch. Try to get unbanned. Maybe sit down with Destiny. If you were smart, you should have taken advantage during RV trip one days and after the RV trip ended, you should have helped the other CX network streamers so they can grow. It's too bad you had an ego. I did help them. I The normies liked the leeches for one to two days. There was times where I didn't go live to help someone else's stream. You know what I mean? So, and I just, I, like I said, I just wanted to grow something that was for people that nobody else wanted. Like, I just really wanted to help other people and grow something for myself as well. Like, it sucks. Like, I shouldn't have done that. But yeah. Don't mean to get off topic, but I like the shirt ice. Keep your Thank head you, up. Thank you, I appreciate that. You will get through this. I should have never burned bridges with uh, just other platforms and stuff too. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I should have never talked shit about Twitch. Like, it's not that's not my place. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, um, I wanted to come off very like. Like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to fucking, you know, we're going to fucking take over everything. And, you know, just a lot of ambition behind that because, you know, you need to be very confident when you're running a business because everyone under you needs to feel comfortable uh, with your business. And that's, that was the wrong mindset that I had, obviously. Hey, Ice, you're a hilarious man. Keep it up. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. Thank you, Militia. Appreciate that, homie. Still blaming the community. LOL. No, nope, just blaming myself. Thank you very much, though, Soapy. CX in the chat. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Regretting it 
Yes, regretting it, Sophie. As I just said. I mean, think about it like this. When I got banned off Twitch, I didn't want to sit there and loathe in my sorrows, you know, be all sad. I'm a very ambitious person, and the, you know, and I wanted to try and do something else. I wanted to try and grow something, you know. I wanted to try and be like, a, like, all right, let's grow our own thing then. We don't need anyone else. Like, I, that's the mindset that I had, and I had to be confident with it in order to, for it to work, uh, which was a risk and, you know, probably the wrong decision. But, you know, at least I tried instead of being a pitiful. So, uh, you know. Hopefully that gets at least a little bit of respect. CX in the chat. Thank you, Les. Les Nessman, appreciate the uh, the member, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I know the uh, the tracksuit demo is not great. I'll just remove it. Sure. I probably should. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Dude, you are an amazing IRL streamer. I fell in love with your spontaneous and truly kind attitude. Shit happens, but you still have a huge following and you will never lose your talent. Thank you, dude. I appreciate CX that. CX in the chat. Well, I think, uh, you know, after today's stream, these, uh, I appreciate everybody who's donated today. Um, I'm not ending the stream right now, but I'm just saying, I appreciate everybody who's donated today. I took a poo in a plastic I bag will, in uh, my room earlier because too lazy to go uh, to toilet. I will be able to go to the store now and buy a better laptop and return this fucking shitty Walmart one so I can actually do gaming stuff or desktop stuff without it lagging and being an i5. So that's great. You are great. I hope I'm not one of the reasons you leaving law, but keep your head up. I wish I could help you out. Message you on Twitter my life if you need is, anything. <laughs> this guy says my life is over basically. Bro, let me tell you. There's more to life than just being a streamer. And that's not even over either. Um, you know, let's say I'm broke and homeless tomorrow. I wouldn't even be, like, obviously I'd be sad. But I would still be proud of myself. And I think that really matters a lot. Because I've done so much shit in my life. I've experienced so much craziness that... Like, I just, I, I hold value in that, you know what I mean? I hold, I have a lot of value in, in experiences in life. And even if I end up with nothing by the end of everything, at least I was able to experience stuff that most other people weren't able to experience. And that is something very valuable that I hold very close to me. CX in the chat. Even though I end Game up like Sophie. Salmon Andy. She lives to bash you. That's fine. I'll be needed. I'll be Salmon Andy. I'll be a very proud Salmon Andy. That's for sure. Living in my tent next to a fucking Hollywood star on the sidewalk. What is this Twitch shit? Those of us who have been around for many years know that Twitch is not the place for this community. Paul has reached much higher levels on YouTube. Go back and look. Thanks for doing Thank you, what you do, bro. With all the negativity, I think you deserve some appreciation. Thank you. I appreciate that. But like I said, we can't do this every day, dude. We we need to I need like if I when I stream tomorrow, I need to have something to do that's not this exactly. Even if people in the chat say, "Oh, that's fine. Just go live and just talk to us." But it's like, really? Like, nah, that's that needs to be something more than this. Why can't your investors pay for the perm and say paid for everything else what's to them? Well, the investors aren't a thing anymore, so it's okay. Like, it doesn't matter. They they were nice enough to let us right. keep the house and stuff. You don't need anyone else. The content the past week was great. You are being real with us and we appreciate that. Keep it up. I think it's better if you quit saying what you want to do and what you could have done and just do something about it. Well, I'm in a position right now where I kind of can't. I'm kind of waiting to just make money but can you explain how you burn vr bridges with twitch and why you can't get in band when destiny say is possible how explain you burn bridges with it? um well i mean because i tried making a platform that would rival them you know what i mean so that's how i burned bridges with them um 
I mean, Destiny says a lot of things, but he doesn't work there at the end of the day, so he doesn't really know. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I mean, I tried making a thing the rival Twitch because, uh, you know, I always strive to be the best I possibly can be. And if I can't be on a on a one platform, I'm going to try and make my own. That's just how I'm, I'm just an ambitious person. It doesn't come from a malicious uh, place. It just comes from a very, like, I don't know, ambitious one. Keep her head up, haven't had time to keep up, but keep grinding, brew. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I mean, if I could get on banned on Twitch, then wouldn't that just be fantastic? I would be stressed out with making content every fucking day, now would I? I would just fucking watch YouTube videos and play fucking stupid-ass fucking indie games uh, every fucking day. And then I'd... And RuneScape. And then I'd also... And IRL. I don't care to do IRL anymore, dude. I've done so much IRL. Like, I would sacrifice that to have less stress in my life, 100%. I mean, it's cool to, like, do new things and, like, travel and stuff, but, like, damn, like, I'd rather not bring all this stress onto me. I'd rather just live more relaxed, you know what I mean? Not over yet. Get your life and career together. I mean, yeah, you could do that on YouTube, but it's a lot more, it's, it's just a lot more difficult to monetize doing that on YouTube and people finding it interesting, you know what I mean? Oops, I forgot. Memes making fun of you or criticizing your terrible decisions is ban-worthy. Your Reddit is too restrictive. No point in posting there when people get banned for typing the three letters. Um, Buy yourself some KFC. Okay. On I mean, I just don't want people type. Just don't type those three letters. It's pretty simple. Um, I mean, obviously, right now, I'm going to still continue IRL because that's just what I need to do, right? That's what I enjoy doing. But at the same time, I would enjoy much more to not have a bunch of fucking stress on my shoulders at all times. And IRL does create more stress than doing desktop streams, for sure. Like, 100%. Um. I guess I have an unpopular opinion. I actually liked CX and all the streamers. I thought you intentionally banded together to generate, like the Howard Stern show. It is a fun carnival of characters. Yeah, I mean, and you know, even without the CX network, they, there will still be characters. They just won't have their own platform. Um, I still want people to come on stream and like, you know, that I enjoy being around, being characters. I just don't want to grow a platform for them. I want to just focus on my own platform because what I've experienced is you help someone grow a platform. They either ditch you or they talk shit about you when they get big. And both of those things are just awful and make me feel terrible. Come down to San Diego, no gay ass permits. Uh, Pyro, the probation won't have any effect on anything. It's not real probation, it's informal. It just means that the probation basically means if I don't get arrested in the next two years, the trespassing charge gets taken off my record. That's what it is. Like, I didn't have to have the probation, I took it as like a plea deal. Because, like, I could have just paid a fine, done community service, and that was it. I purposely asked for probation uh, so I could get the shit taken off my record. Like, basically. So I took an extra responsibility to get something, to get the trespassing off my record in two years. Because I don't want a criminal record. CX in the chat. Because I'm not a fucking criminal. Uh, you know what I mean? So... Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Let me see. Dude, Twitch, Twitch just... was just talking about unbanning oh, you. Yeah. Should apply. Is it a gnome or something? What is this? Day one p.m. PST. You know what that means? World is a weird place. Twitch weekly time. Oh, is getting in shape and just got a big TV opportunity. And after taxes and lawyer fees, you will end streaming homeless from the Hummer filled with cat fur and SS Jake home. Oh, Burger got a. TV opportunity, that's Boy, cool. Ah, I know it. I've watched too long. What is this? Let me see what this clip is here. I Sorry that you can't see it on the screen, but my computer's lagging the fuck out right now. The that time means is. It, is, it is time. Uh, we were just uh, at PAX East. We're going to be talking a ton about that in just a second. Uh, well, most of us will. <laughs> uh, Thank you, dude. Oh, Streamer House is a failure. Thank you. It is a failure. Thank you. Ice is powerless against... 
Soy Boy Brent Caskill. Thank you. Kimberly is only with ice for clout. Wow. Wow, dude. Amazing. You know, the first two things I would say is correct, but, um, well, not really the second one because we're just parting separate ways at this point. Um, thank you, Amir. I appreciate the, uh, the wow, the $100, homie. I really appreciate that. It's very nice. Um, <laughs> thank you, dude. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, that's going to be really helpful. Thank you. Um, okay. Th thank you, dude. I don't know what else to say besides that. Thank you. Probation is not going to affect Japan at all, no. Let me just say, Kimberly is not with me for clout, dude. Or with me because I have clout or any stupid thing like that. Kimberly is a real fucking person, and she really cares about me. Um, and I believe her when she says that, because we've had deep conversations. And I've never had really deep conversations with too many people. You know, I never had deep conversations with Caroline or any of my ex-girlfriends. So, I don't know. I, I'm pretty confident that uh, she's a good fucking person. Why use this opportunity to completely rebuild yourself as a mature streamer dealing with real life mental health and legal meetings finding new management people love you regardless of content? I'm so proud of you being so real. You make our days every day. You got this. Keep oh man, I will take that. Dude. I will take we will that. We'll always appreciate you and love you. We I, connect with you more than any. Old man, I will take that uh, opportunity for sure. That's what I plan on doing. Yeah, Kimberly's a real one, Mike. There's no deja vu here. Like, she's a fucking real one. I know a lot of people in chat just don't know that because she hasn't been on camera and she, nobody really knows her because she's just not on camera. But, like, she really is a real one. Like, if she wasn't, I would say it like I have with everyone else. But she really is. Can we get a TDLR for those of us who just got here? Um, oh man, it's just a lot, dude. I mean, just basically, I'm having issues streaming in LA because of film permits. Uh, regretting a lot of decisions. I was too ambitious uh, for my own taste. Um, I, I fucked up a lot. Um, I'm trying to move out of LA because of filming permits. And I'm sort of unable to because of financial restraints because I have to f pay my taxes still and I have to pay for the lawyer that is helping me get my shit back from the FBI. That's basically, essentially, it. Don't forget you accomplished so much at such a young age. You made some bad decisions, but you can learn from this. This experience will make you a greater person as you get older. Let me tell you something, Impwiz. Making 600 last, 600k last year is gross. A lot of that money I either gave away or, you know, traveled with or, you know what I mean? Like, this is not gross money. This is, like, what I made, what I made net is probably a lot lower than 600k. Um, especially because half of that goes to the fucking taxes. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? You said you could quit streaming now and be comfortable. Why not buy a filming permit? Why not come to San Diego or Orange County? Uh, to be honest, I'm just tired of taxes. After uh, 2018, I don't want to. I, I don't want to live in California right now. Like the fuck the taxes in California. They are retarded. Okay, they literally charge me 40 percent. That's almost half of my income. Why the fuck would I want to live in California? Like, if I'm not in LA, California is not worth living in. Uh, at if you are above a certain tax bracket, is not. I mean, LA is like a good place to be to like do stuff in, but damn, like if I if I went to San Diego and had to pay the same amount of taxes that I do in LA, fuck that. You know what I mean? Because I'm above a certain tax bracket, so they charge me more for my taxes than. Every, like most other fucking people so it's it's fuck that it's hard uh you know so that's why i would move to somewhere that has no no state tax yes, in the chat. wherever i'm i don't know where i'm gonna move wherever i move motherfucker i want to make sure that shit has no state tax lower taxes low property tax low fucking every tax because 
I mean, I guess if a place has low taxes, though, then they're, the place is not that great, though. Like, how does Texas or Florida, how do they afford to build their cities when they don't have high taxes? Because they, the, the government of that state uses the taxes to build their cities. So how the fuck do they afford to build their cities? I guess through other means. But, yeah, I don't know. I just want to make sure I go somewhere that's like, the taxes aren't going to fuck me. And, you know, might as well go somewhere cheap because that's kind of what uh, I should do, right? Money laundering, yeah. Uh, oil, perhaps. Thank you. Okay, SJC. I don't know if you doxed, but if you did, then sure. Sorry, SJC, but I mean, I'm purging the CX network anyways, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, the California taxes do go to the wrong places, like fucking... I don't even know where California taxes go. The fuck is LA's a shithole, to be honest. Probably goes to San Diego. That place is nice. All right, thank you, Blake. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you very much, dude. Yeah, Iceland. If I moved to another country, I don't even know how the taxes would work. Like, how do? What's up, Ninja? Do you it's have to pay? Scottsdale. Like, I guess I'd Give have to pay. Ever in town. I'd have to pay taxes in a, the other country, wouldn't I? I don't even know um, how that shit would work. I guess, but it wouldn't be so, so high. What if I just leave the country after I make money there? And just never go back. I don't know. Um, yeah, my income went through CXLC. Phineas, what's uh, what? Do you, what are you trying to say? Um, I don't know. But okay, Reddit recap. Let's look at my Reddit, and uh, let's just look at. I mean, it's not really a recap because there's no content. So what am I really recapping? But let's let's take a look at it for the first time in weeks, right? And I also need to tweet these photos. I have the photos. Let me tweet them real quick. It's just my fucking computer is lagging, so it's hard. Let me tweet these photos real quick. And I want people to just make some funny green screens with these photos. And, you know, whichever one, whichever person makes the funniest green screens of the photos, I'll pick them out and I'll give you a prize. I don't know what prize. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. But, you know, I'll figure it out. Maybe give you like 50 bucks or something. Uh, I'm, I don't think this computer is going to be able to actually upload the photos to Twitter. Let's give it a try, though. Not gets flown to LA, dude. Um, these are some of the... What's the word when you're... So these are photos from the documentary um, and they're getting put on like the cover of the documentary, like some of these photos. So these are, what is the name of that? Promotional photos. So these are some of the promotional photos for the documentary I'm working on with a film crew to... Uh, film about uh, live streaming. Please use these how ever you however you want and post them on Reddit to uh, let me see and post them on Reddit. Post them on Reddit. Whoever does the best job with good luck man you got this photoshop King IRL also signed by a bro something I don't know yet but something lol thank you dude I, I appreciate that homie uh all right there we go that's nice so let's just now post this all right you guys let me know what you think of those photos I can't really take this webcam off right now because uh, my computer's dog shit but actually I can let me see if I can do this without it lagging okay okay there we go there we go and we just do that Alrighty, what do you guys think about those photos? They're not too bad, right? Those are only some of the promotional photos. 
but not all of them. But let's take a look at this and let's see what we've got here on Reddit. All right, so as you see here, first one here, rule updates. Good shit. Here we are. Jacob F. Unfortunately, as you know, Jacob's quitting. He doesn't want to move out of LA. He's staying in LA, so he's quitting. I have to find a new Jacob. When I move, or before I move, I'm probably going to have people email me. I'm going to say I need people to email me your resumes. Don't start now. It's going to get lost and all the shit. When I'm ready to stay aware, I'll probably tweet it. You're going to email me your resume. I'm going to pick out resumes I like. Like real resumes, not... Like you, it, I will not pick people who are trying to become streamers. If you are trying to become a streamer, do not. All right, scam Miranda here. Now unban me, homie. I bought merch. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. I will uh, refuse to uh, to hire you if you're trying to be a streamer. Okay, you have to try. Like you're applying to be an employee. Remember that. You will never become a streamer if you're my employee. I I will just fire you. So Jacob, you know, I need somebody to do Jacob's job basically as my personal assistant. So when I'm ready. Send me resumes. I'll pick out resumes I like. I'll interview people over the phone. You built then I'll CX. fly you out. You are CX. Everyone you gave a platform to wants to be you. You will always be successful, Ice. Remember that you are a pioneer in this type of streaming platform. Thank you, homie. I appreciate that. All right. And then we have... Here we are. I have a I6 PCL you borrow till you get yours back. I'm in LA and I've met you on stream. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be nice, dude. But I mean, I'm not going to ask for it. If you want to just bring it over to the house when I'm there... You're more than welcome to, homie. All right, so then we have every other post. I looked at this earlier. So I already know what, what it is. I Let me see a post that says dead sub. Dead sub. Random photo to the front page. Street. Thank you. I'll DM you on Twitter. I just use it for Discord. Salmon Andy, who has an i7 MacBook, of course, that he can borrow this from. Thank you, Salmon Andy. I would love to uh, take your MacBook. That, that would be great. Uh, another post saying dead sub with the Call of Duty meme. Dead sub. Uh, a rock on the front page, which means, well, dead sub, right? Um, your son ruined See, my I've mansion, so I'm that. moving in. Move your shit. I have somewhere to put my amiibos. That's what Voldis had, would say to my parents for sure. I don't know what the other side is, but thank you, dude. It kind of scares me. I like some Star Wars shit, but thank you. Universe B. Let me see. Just hit 4 million subs. Rolling Stone considers him innovator of IRL streaming. Well, they already said that. So, sort of true. Getting ready to do an Avengers Endgame stream. Uh, Twitch wants ICE to come back to their platform. Bold pays rent. SSJ was arrested by PETA, not the streamer mansion. Well, that is amazing. Thank you very much. Um, too bad Universe B doesn't exist the way I would like it to. I made a four-minute video for Paul. I put my heart into this. What does this video say? It's probably some fucking shit. Some weird shit, isn't it? If it's a real video, I would be surprised. Ice Poseidon. You most likely know who he is, and if you don't, then he's a streamer here on YouTube. He has a lot of controversial content on his streams time to time, but we aren't here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Paul. Not Ice Poseidon, or the Goblin, or any other nickname he has. Paul has changed my life. Make sure where I Not in a negative way. But in you a very lead in your house and cops positive are way. PS, you can get arrested and for that, in a lot of states. I'm coming over first week. Been watching you since your army days. You've helped me thank through you, some rough times I, with your silliness. I don't need to smoke I weed. If that. I go somewhere where weed's illegal, so I, can I don't. You in the favor. I, I don't Much need. Love. I don't need to smoke weed. It's, it's fine. Um, yo, is it lagging like up the ass chat? Damn, like, I'm sorry. This laptop is really bad. I'm fucking sorry. Um, the there is literally an i a really shitty i5 processor so um if it's having a hard time i think i let me let me close the chat maybe that'll help it i really hope let's watch the video i must say thank you thanks for pushing the chat forward. takes a lot of cpu usage thanks yeah. for laughing Thanks for turning a dark, cloudy day into a sunny, clear day. There has been days I locked myself in my room for days without eating or being social. But as soon as I hear that Ice Poseidon is live notification, my eyes turn as bright as it can be. 
like a kid opening up his Christmas presents in the morning. Your streams are what gave me confidence in myself, because your streams are what taught me that no matter how many times life pushes you down, you can always get back up. You are what I strive to be. Yeah, there's ups and downs, but at your lowest point, even if you quit the streams or you just aren't feeling it or need someone to talk to, you always have us, your loyal fans. Whenever you feel down, I want you to remember that you are countless people's reasons to get up in the morning, even if it doesn't seem like it because of all the negativity blocking the view. It doesn't mean it's not true. The day I stumbled upon your streams was the third day I went without eating or leaving my room. I was suffering from depression. I didn't have a reason to shower, eat, socialize, or do anything. All up until I started watching clips from your previous streams because after watching your previous clips, subscribing, and watching your live stream, I had realized that you deal with the most you deal with so much pressure, stress, that I was shocked that you were still on the platform. But after watching so much and somewhat becoming obsessed with CX and your live streams, I come to a conclusion that if you could be so confident, not care about the outcomes, and just go for the kill, I could too. I vividly remember walking down the stairs one morning saying good morning while doing the arm thing after days of not talking you feel so many people's imaginations and dreams and if you ever doubt that just take a look around you so many people are what they are today because of you so many people have a career they've wished for because of you you are the core definition of giving without earning not so many people give back to you so, this is why I wanted to at least say thank you. Thanks for being there when I needed you the most, even if you weren't aware of it. I love you, Paul. Sincerely, your true fans. CX and the chat. I donated for the first time for your house planet, and he gave me... A heartful message because his fan base were tagging him. I love this guy right here, and he pronounced my name right for the first time. Thank you. Well, thank you, Fix. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's a very nice video, dude. That video was much better than uh, any donation I could ask for, that's for sure. I really appreciate that. Let me bring the chat back up. That's. That was very nice. I really enjoyed that. That was uh, that was really good. I thought that was gonna be some fucking some bullshit, but that was actually a really nice video. So thank you, Adam says network. Yeah. Uh, see, like that is the kind of shit that keeps me going. You know what I mean? When there's a lot of bullshit going on, like that's because like I I know the streams. Like I've met a lot of fans do when I travel, and I know exactly like. I know people really I used to think like the it. worst thing in life was to be so that's alone. Cool. It's not. The worst thing in life is to end up with people who make you feel alone. That looks really good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's hey, true. Hey, are you sure it is worth Being spending $25,000 to get your computer and phones back? Surely it's cheaper to buy a new computer for like $1,000. $25,000 seems like a waste, right? No, because if I, was you, I have a lot of stuff on my computer and my phone that I want. A Twitch. lot of files, a lot of yourself, data. Drop any my whole life's on there. Secondly, 90% of IP2 isn't toxic. They're fans. Well, the moderators of the sub is toxic. Thank you, Ice, for keep streaming. Love your content and love you, my dude. And then, yeah, Where here can we... I find a merch link? Uh, the one in the DESC is broken. Yeah, we don't have a merch, we don't have a merch store right now. Um... Yep, we're convicted. Yes, we have. Uh, hopefully in two years, I get all this off my record when probation is done. Hope you see this on your first Reddit recap. Sub is dead, just helping. Let's see. When you finally catch a person that's been making bad decisions and ruining your life. Oh, it's me. Look at that. Yep. It really fucking sucks. Uh, dead sub. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Adam, for the member. I appreciate that. See, the sub's going to be probably like this until, well, I can stream and make content, right? So that sucks. Well, hopefully the uh, the photos will add some life to it that I just posted. 
Uh, let me see. Dead sub, yes. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the comments get downvoted as well. I don't know why, but oh, let me see. Yes, I'm not showing the screen, am I? Uh, here we have ten second, ten photos taken before tra tragedy. I don't know, just me in the streamer house, I guess. Just me doing CX stuff. CX in the chat. Stream ideas. Let me see. Four wheeling in the desert. Just no internet in the desert, but I could try to do something with that. Uh, go to a lake or by a river and do camping streams, fishing streams at night and day would be cool. Hook up a fan to use their gear. Pay ponds would be cool. Try and fish for jackpots if there are any. If there's any close. Yeah, I mean, I could do, like, fishing streams and stuff, but... You gave artism a face and a voice. Keep it up, homie. Yeah, I mean, being different is okay. Having autism and stuff, that's totally okay. I'll look at the stream ideas. I need more stream ideas. So stuff that I can do in my current situation right now. Um, Four-wheeling and stuff, that's definitely a possibility. Fishing, I think, is kind of boring, though. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you guys think fishing is boring, but I do. and I, I, I would assume viewers do as well. Uh, let me see. Here we have, uh, I guess, view bots or something. I don't fucking know. Just robots, view bots, I suppose. I should move to Austin. Lots of opportunities. Good town. Lots of events. Other streamers. He can do streams by himself. Travel to Houston and Dallas frequently if wanted. Possibility. But obviously, uh, other streamers living in Austin wouldn't really matter because they are on Twitch and can't really do stuff with me. Uh, why does Ice continue to defend this man? Eh, there's no defending. I... You know, we're not going to work together. There's no defending. I've been put in a very bad spot, that's for sure. Um, I can confirm they censor and only allow hate. Okay, maybe. I don't fucking know. Fill the front page with tryhards. Tryhards indeed. Me knowing that spinoff Reddit mod users are suffering from ice derangement syndrome. What does that mean? What is I, What is derangement syndrome? Ice, your community is still here and are still behind you. The only thing we want from you is to be Rhea. You lying ruined it before this is ice we want. Well, I mean, here you have it. Uh, let me see. Ah, I wish I had 4.7 bill. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, donation goal for us to blow it up in the desert or Compton. We could do a donation goal or I'd rather... I think people would give it away, though. Like, I think I should just give it away. I think that's the best thing to do with the Hummer. Because if I do a stream giving it away, I'll just make money doing that. Uh, you know, I'll make money on the stream giving it away. So I think, and then somebody could obviously have the car. Except this time I'm changing it. If you enter the competition, you have to show me your driver's license. Because the last person who won didn't have a driver's license. And that caused a lot of fucking problems. Because obviously you can't really just give someone a car when they don't have a license. So, yeah, I'm just going to make sure... Uh, that's the way to do it. Sell it so you get the most out of it. So if I sell the Hummer, I'll get like 5000 Not even. It, I'll probably get like $3,000 for it. Uh, if I do a stream giving it away, I'll probably make much more than that. So that's probably the, the best idea to do. I'd rather not use it. It's a, hey, I'm not I a gas you doing Hummer, a stream dude. with Cassandra again. It was fun with you too. Um, I don't know. I mean, probably not soon. Cassandra was talking a little bit of shit about my girlfriend, so I don't appreciate that, and that kind of sucks because I liked hanging out with Cassandra, but she was being really just saying some dumb shit for no reason. So I don't know. Only three gay. How old is it? Well, no one. They don't make Hummers anymore, so it's old as fuck. Like no one wants a Hummer because there's there's too much gas. Uh, for but it doesn't matter. Like if I do a stream giving it away, like that Fiat was worth three thousand dollars, and I gave it away on a stream, and we made twenty grand. So that's Jeff. That's definitely not. Like, that's definitely the move there. That's for sure. Um, it is definitely cheaper to take Ubers than to drive that Hummer, for sure. It's a very, like, maybe four miles a gallon in gas. Um, so definitely not... But they're definitely very expensive, and it, they, there's a lot of miles in it. Not too many miles, but it's a fucking Hummer. Like, driving it, it's, like, just expensive. At least in L.A. Logs in his gold memes. Uh... Logged in as actually nobody, I'm pretty sure. So, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Where is a Hummer in demand at, Anthony? Not, I mean, maybe somewhere where you can go like mudding and shit. I don't know. Come to Denver, Ice. Hold you down. We got the mountains, off road shooting, all that. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to move to somewhere cold though, because I like Denver is beautiful. I'd live, I'd love to live there, but I cannot stream. 
doing IRL in cold ass fucking weather, dude. Fuck that. That's uh, it snows there. It gets like negative ten degrees. I can't do that. I can't. I cannot go anywhere where it snows. Fuck that. Unfortunately, so. Um. All right. So this is what I, this is what I'm gonna do, chat. I'm probably gonna go to the store. I'm gonna buy a fucking computer that can play games and actually do stuff without it lagging. Um. And thank you all for anyone who's donated tonight. I can go do that. I'm going to buy a, uh, obviously, a computer. And then I guess for the next, I don't know, a couple weeks or week or two weeks. I don't know. We're just going to do fucking desktop streams and then uh, other little events. Get on your or, Discord anyway. You about can. challenge Make streams when we can. So that's, you know, until I move. It's going to be very, very hard. But if you just fucking bear with me and stick with me, we can we can make it work. Um I'm not going to go do IRL right now and buy the computer IRL because I'll probably just get kicked out of the store. And because, I don't know, dude, just, I'm, I'm just scared of like filming permit stuff. Like I said, I'm not even in LA, but it's just not a good idea right now. Um, yeah, so I'll stream tomorrow. We'll just do some stuff on a desktop and uh, I live in SD, you'll drive we'll see how it all goes. I kind of want to, I have this stream idea. I have this stream idea where I do an isolation stream in the military truck and somebody drives the truck around and like I stop and like people or like viewers or something can like come in, like fuck with me while I'm doing it. So it's like a mobile isolation stream. That seems like a interesting concept, but you know, we'll see how it works out, I guess. Um, obviously we just have to make sure we don't go to LA. So we'll see. All right, let me take this chat off of uh, sponsor only mode before I go here. Before you give it away, you should do a sleep stream inside the Hummer. Block the windows. I mean, I could just do a sleep stream inside the military truck, right? Sleep streams don't really mean that much anymore, dude, because I don't ever sleep. People donate so much on it. I don't really, I don't ever actually sleep anymore. It's just, it's just literally a donate stream instead of a sleep stream because I guess if I I don't know I guess if I make the donations high idea? enough it'd be a sleep stream but I don't really want to do that um yeah I mean I'd rather not shave my head <laughs> shaving my head is one of the worst mistakes I've ever made in my life I look so fucking ugly and people were looking at me so fucking weird I did not like that all right I'm gonna go then guys I'll see y'all later I'll see you guys tomorrow uh yeah, we'll make it through this. It's just, this sucks right now, but it's all good. We're fine. All right. Just, if you want to post on Reddit and tell me where I should live and give me like reasons as to where I should live, then uh, that would be great. Please do that. Um, you know, give me some good reasons why, where I should live at motherfucking link in the description for the Reddit. That's the only Reddit I look at. So don't, you know, you probably just don't post it anywhere else. Like there's no point because I'm only looking at my Reddit. But in that time, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Later, dudes. Motherfucking love you. Peace out. Thank you to everybody watching the stream. And uh, I'll see y'all later.